Well, hello, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a little, just take a little walk here and show you the different ways to landscape around your fountain. You can see this is the uh, stump fountain here. It looks like a log stump, and we put uh, rocks and boulders around it. You can see here where we built it up in the front, and then we have the rocks back there. We got ferns and hostas and some liripe, things like that. Now, plants around your fountain greatly help it a lot, especially on the boulders. Um, to help soften that kind of stark boulder look. So you want to inter intermix evergreens in there as well because in the winter time, if you don't have those evergreens, then it's going to kind of go back to just kind of almost like a rock pile. If you don't have enough plants in there, it's just going to look like a pile of rocks. Now I'll swing over here and we can kind of look at our stacked rocks. Kind of the same thing. Uh, this one's in the sun today, so we're going to be going from shade to sun. You can see all that liripe grass there softens that, kind of hides the edge, makes it look more natural in the setting. Putting boulders around it kind of uh, helps to kind of, kind of blend it into the landscape. And those are things that you want to do. Uh, we'll go down here and take another look uh, at a different fountain. And you can see our jar fountains right down through there. And that, they benefit greatly from plants too, having plants around it. Kind of soften those edges. As we walk down through here, you can kind of get an idea of, of planting. Now, of course, we're wanting you to be able to see the fountains here when you come here and so we don't cover them up in plants, but you kind of get the idea. And here's another one. Um, this is a low bol uh, boulder, so you don't really want anything really tall in the front of it. So maybe in the back you can kind of go, you see those yucca plants there in the back of it. And then we have hosta here in the front. and then. We got some ground covers here. You don't want to hide that boulder being a low boulder. Uh, this is Colorado Forgotten Rock over here, and you can see the plantings that we have around this as well. Uh, ferns give the give it the look of uh, being up in the mountains and kind of uh, maybe you'd like like you'd see water running over a boulder or stream or something like that. And you can see the other boulders that we set in here with it to kind of accent it. And we'll take a walk down through here and I'll show you another one. Now, ground covers are something that uh, I think works well with the boulders. They're not so tall that they cover up the boulder, but they do kind of hide those edges. You can see this one right here has that ivy growing around it on one end of it anyway. And it kind of nestles it in, makes it look uh, natural. Uh, we have the large Celtic rock down here. And you'll see we have some small boulders. You don't want to get really big boulders to compete with the boulder. You want the boulder to be the largest uh, item in the landscape. But you also want these plants around it. Now we've got bol small boulders here in the front. And I think you kind of get the idea of, of, of how important it is for the landscaping outside of the fountain as well. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 540 948-2239 or email me kenny at southerngraceva.com.